number one. I just really couldn't wait, so I'm going ahead and getting this thing picked. I've got my unboxing video and my uh, picking slash fail slash repicking of the Iseo. I've got that uh, video uh, going right now. It's converting, and I'll be uploading it here in a little bit. But um, this will probably be the next day, but I'm getting this one out of the way now. Um, this big old Union from Pete Restall. Uh, fantastic looking lock. It's just awesome to look at. And I'm going to see if I can't get into it right away. I mean, I saw what he did to these pins in, in his video. And it looked to be like a really, really evil lock to get into. So, we're going to take a crack at it. Okay, I click out of pin two. Actually, I believe I just overset it right away. I'm just going to use a really light tension on this. Okay, just looking for my first true binder here. It looks like pin three. That put me into a really minor false set. Okay, and a pin one just put me into a, a pretty good false set. Okay, got some feedback. Okay, I think I was pin two, and pin two is offering me just a little bit more feedback here. Okay, I got him. Okay, so nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Nothing on four. A little bit of feedback on five. Okay, I think I got him set. A little feedback on six. And six is kind of tricky because I got to set him without sitting on this warding. Somehow, maybe I can get it. There we go. It just kind of slid underneath of them. Okay, I got him set now. Okay, I just got uh, something else set as I was uh, moving my way forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and test pin one again. Okay, I got some feedback on one. A little minor click. Okay, I got a set good and got my false set back. Okay, pin five. Yep, just double checking, still pin five. Okay, I lost my false set, but I got it back right away. Pin three. Okay, I think pin three might be set. That was pin four. All right, pin five again. Okay, pin five set now. That's some more counter rotation under him, maybe. There we go. Got him. That was pin five. So uh, pin five's got something going on there. And pull a shackle out here. And let's. 
let's see how to gut this guy. Okay, there's no screw down the shackle hole, so let me dig out my Allen wrenches and see if I got one the right size. Um, how much you want to bet that's a one sixteenth? There we go. Okay, go ahead and pull the shackle out. Okay. So, how do you get this? Hmm. Is it that giant Allen screw? Well, there's a really big Allen screw down in the bottom of that hole, so maybe that's what holds the plate on. And I want to guess that that's maybe a 3 sixteenths. And I would guess wrong. Five thirty seconds. There we go. And that looks like how we get it, guys. And here comes the ball bearing. And the actuator. And there's the other ball bearing. this over okay that shouldn't be a bad clip to take off Okay, this is definitely a challenge lock, so shim. Ooh, that's tight. Yeah, shim goes on there, but it's a little tight. Hopefully my smallest follower won't be too tight going in there. Okay, I got the key pins towards me. And pushed all the way through. Very good. And you can already see some uh, real love done to this plug here. I mean, I see some chamfering. I see some counter milling. I see counter milling in one, three, five, and six. I see threads in two and four. I've got a little standard pin in one, little bitty short guy, a nicely serrated in two. A looks like a factory serrated in three. Another nice uh, serrated in four. A five looks like another factory serrated. And then a nice uh, serrated in six. Let's double check this plug, make sure there was no threads. Okay, there's actually threads on chamber six underneath the counter milling as well. Man. You really did some work on this thing, Pete. Great job. Okay, so let me grab my permanent marker and write, put a mark on the front of this. it looks pretty much the same from either side let's go ahead and back out just a little too okay 
Let's go ahead and slide that shim out, maybe. Slide it the other way. There, it's not my way anymore. You guys could see how tight that shim was in there. Alright. Pin one is a serrated spool. Pin two is a serrated. Let's go ahead and knock these springs out of here too. Pin one's a little copper spring. Two's a copper spring. And I also tell that pin two is uh, threaded, or chamber two is threaded. Get a little serrated spool here in chamber three. Copper spring. And chamber three is also threaded. I got a serrated in chamber four with a copper spring. I've got a serrated spool in chamber five with another copper spring. And another serrated spool for chamber six. And it also has a copper spring. So it looks like chambers one or chambers one or chamber one is the only one that is not threaded. And, and it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like chamber five might be slightly oversized really hard to tell but uh, you can see the threads and chamber one doesn't have any but uh, really nice lock Pete I appreciate you sending it to me this thing might just have to sit in my collection for a while because it is a gorgeous padlock so, thank you very much, sir. Everyone else, please stay safe, don't do anything illegal, and please like and subscribe. <laughs>